welcome back to another video by Lone Burst Farms. It's a beautiful day out today. Nice Sunday afternoon. It's about 21 degrees. Uh, we're gonna have, uh, I think what they're calling the Polar Express come through though. It's gonna be, uh, oh, close to, uh, close to nine degrees tonight. They're gonna say that uh, it's, it's negative uh, with the wind chill factor. We've got uh, most of the barden buttoned up and uh, some new bedding laid down. We're gonna finish doing a little bit more of that today. But uh, right now we're gonna go feed some goats and, and a cow. Why? Because that will choke them. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let me see. Turn. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Come on. Who's going to win? Chewy or Skywalker? Probably. Chewy Skywalker. Chewy. Oh, watch what he's doing, Charlie. Skywalker. Uh, I, think, I think Chewy. You got to watch. Okay. Charlie, Charlie, put that up higher, man. There you go. I think Chewie's gonna be first, the first one. Cause yeah. he's like always the first one. So. Yeah. He's pretty fast. Look at that tail moving. <laughs> his tail moves like oh my god. Yeah, his tail's moving, but not very much. Yeah. Yep. I think he's gonna be done first. Chewie's probably gonna be done first. Good boy, Chewbacca. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Skywalker, come on. Come on, Babe, come on, it's squirting everywhere. And he's done. Oh, I think it was a tie. It was a tie. I think it was a tie. Yeah. <laughs> or she got, or he got done. Like, right after. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let me come in here and uh, Feed check the out cow. the cow. The, We're going to go back. I'm going to put these bottles away. Say hi. Hi. Uh. How are you So uh, for the last week we've had, uh, uh, well, we, we started with five bottle caps and uh, we are down to, down to one. That's our last guy left. He'll be uh, going to his new home on Wednesday. Uh, what we do here uh, with the calves is, uh, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, careful, careful. So what we do with the calves, um, say hi. So one of the things we do with the bottle calves is um, we pick up usually only two or three at a time. So this time it was uh, five calves. I'll tell you, that was a little much, wasn't it? Was that a lot? Yeah. It was. Um, but uh, the kids have to come up uh, twice a day and feed those. Uh, we, uh, and then we wouldn't try to do is we, we sell them. So we work with a local farm here, local dairy. Uh, they really have no interest in the bulls and uh, want to get them off their hands as fast as possible. So uh, as long as they've had colostrum and, and uh, uh, have been able to nurse for about two to three days, we'll go grab them, bring them over. And then uh, for the first uh, week uh, or so, two weeks, we'll, we'll have them here. And then we, we go to, to sell those uh, to 
uh, local customers that are looking for maybe a dairy beef. Uh, right now, January, February, a lot of 4-H'ers are looking for uh, a cow for the dairy uh, beef showing. Um, so we're just looking for, for a more economical way to get into having their own beef on hand. And jerseys um, are actually an excellent um, beef, uh, beef cow. A lot of people think about the, the traditional beef cows, the Anguses and, and stuff, um, Herefords. Uh, but Angus is a, or, uh, Jersey is a, a great meat, uh, especially, um, you know, we, we, we raise them here on the pasture. Um, you know, hay supplement, uh, of course, in the wintertime, and then a, a, a grain supplement every day that we, we add to them. But good fat content. Um, it takes a little longer to finish them off, but excellent, excellent meat, um, especially for the, the freezer to feed the family. But uh, what one of the things with these little guys here is when we have them, uh, you know, they're they're easy to manage, easy to to, to handle. Um, the uh, the kids like to come up and feed them, and one of, each of them will will pick one of the cows as their own, and when they sell it, then they get to keep the the proceeds of that, right? So, yeah, is that the good is that a good thing? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it helps them, uh, you know, we're using it sort of as part of the homeschooling side of, of uh, this is learning how to care for the animals for everything they need and then also making money off of, of selling it. So. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. You got it, buddy. He's hungry for who? Say hi. Say hi. Hey, don't bite. Don't bite my jacket. All right, come on. No, mister. <laughs> that scared me a little. Hi, Daddy. Hi, people of the yard. <laughs> Hi, people of the yard. So a few days ago, after we did sell a few of the calves, okay, we also decided okay, that... Here. Hey, guys. We, uh, we decided that it was also time to... Uh, get ready for, for spring, even though it's it's cold outside. Um, 
We, uh, we definitely have a lot going on uh, in the springtime. We've got to prepare for it. And one of those things was to uh, start looking at, at uh, bacon and making sure we've got uh, time frames set up so that we can get some, some bacon in the freezer. And not all at the same time, right? We want to get, we want to get some uh, pork in, in there. We've got uh, the cows going in sometime in, uh, in September. Uh, hopefully we'll have uh, an opening for at least one to go in before that, if we can, um, uh, after uh, after the, uh, the, uh, the spring uh, breaks here, but uh, we we did uh, bring these two critters home with us, and uh, these are coon coons, and eventually those will will be uh, pork loins and bacon in the freezer. So some people have asked us. Um, uh why why so many animals and, and what are you guys doing here um for for those who knew us we, we lived in in wilmington north carolina in the city for uh for many years before moving back here to ohio and uh, we moved back to to help out with family at the same time to get a little different perspective on life everything down there was fast paced and, and we wanted to slow it down a little bit and uh, have a piece of property we could, we could do things like this on. But uh, one of the things that we found uh, as this pandemic uh, uh, started is you never know too when the grocery stores are gonna be empty. Uh, and you also don't know what's going in all of your meat um, as far as hormones and antibiotics and, and different things like that. So it's nice that we all get to um, have something to do every day. Uh, we don't uh, have to worry about <laughs> Do you like coming out and messing with the animals every day? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little different not being able to get hanging out with friends a lot right now, huh? So, so having the animals around gives us all something to do. It gives uh, the the critters, the kids that is, some uh, some things to play with and, and take care of, learn responsibility and at the same time. We know where uh, a lot of our food is going to come from, but uh, so that's sort of sort of the basis of why we've uh, we've decided to to get into cows and goats and, and pigs uh, and chickens is uh, to be able to be somewhat self-sufficient and know exactly where our food's coming from. Say something about these cows. So one of the nice things about raising these guys up since they were on a bottle uh, is that they are very friendly, they yeah. listen, um, and uh, you know, the kids aren't afraid to, to mess around and, and uh, do stuff with them. Well, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> oh, funny. Can I give him my jacket? <laughs> I'll tell you what, these guys are... Too big for jackets. They're the uh, noisiest eaters. Well, we're done feeding today. Well, this afternoon we'll be back out this evening. So in the meantime, have you guys yourself a wonderful day. You guys have anything to say? Bye. <laughs> Till the next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, throw up that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Have a good one.
subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Why would we surf? <laughs> Ah, ah, ah.